Hello, colleagues. My name is Susan. I am from Policy and Advice, India. I'm here to talk to you about RBS policies and guide you on what to do on various people issues that you might face. Today, we shall talk about one of our line managers who is presently facing a data loss prevention issue with one of his employees. Meet line manager Anil, who has reached out to Policy and Advice. Hi, Susan. I've just received an alert regarding one of my team members, Ryan. He sent an official email to his personal email ID. How should I handle this? Okay, Anil. Is he a new joiner or still under probation? No, Susan. He's not a new joiner. He's completed a year with RBS. Don't worry, Anil. Let us review the information on the alert email, as this could be a breach of RBS security policy. Did you check on what information was sent out? He sent across some project-related details to his personal ID. Okay, Anil. Did you check the classification of the documents? Yes, I have. It was classified as confidential and was a critical project-related document. Did you have a word with Ryan on this? Yes, he said that he had sent the documents to his personal ID for self-reading as he was working on a new project. He wasn't aware that he isn't supposed to send official documents to his personal email ID. Hmm. Good that you have brought this to our attention, as this looks like an RBS security policy breach. Considering it was a critical project-related document classified as confidential, it is important that we assess the potential impact of the data loss. How do I do that? I'm not sure. Well, the impact assessment is about analyzing the actual or potential loss to RBS if this information gets misused by anyone outside RBS. Would the loss cause any reputational, financial, regulatory, or customer loss? Based on this assessment, if you foresee that the impact or loss to RBS is significant, we should have an Investigations India team, after consulting with the DLP team, to investigate the case and recommend further actions. What if the impact is not significant and we don't need the team to investigate? In that case, I would recommend you share your assessment of the loss with me to take the necessary actions as appropriate in lines with our policy. Okay, let me do this assessment and get back to you. In the meanwhile, I also suggest you to reiterate the data management policy to Ryan and your team so that this kind of situation isn't repeated. Ask Ryan to enroll for the GPL training modules to know more and to be cautious in the future. Additionally, Anil, you would need to get an indemnity letter signed by Ryan. I will share a draft of the same with you. Thanks, Susan. I'll do that. Will this lead to a disciplinary action against Ryan? Anil, the disciplinary action will be taken based on the assessment of the impact and the intent. I want you to keep me posted on your findings. Sure. Let me summarize our call with key pointers to remember in managing DLP cases. Have a discussion with the employee to check the intent. Check the classification of the document. Secret. Confidential. Public. Internal. Assess the actual and the potential impact of the action. Reputational, financial, regulatory, or customer loss. Based on the initial assessment, you should reach out to Policy and Advice, India. Educate your team and create more awareness on the following. RBS Security Policy. RBS Data Management Policy. Keep the team managing the case informed on any developments. Lastly, get an indemnity letter signed by the employee.